Tonight, hiding in plain sight, a San Joaquin County man arrested in a brutal rape and attempted murder more than three decades after the attack. John Harris Jr. was arrested today outside the home surveillance company he works at in Manteca. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live with more on the vicious crime and how investigators tracked him down. Laura. Well, it took a victim who wouldn't give up and a DNA test to get him locked up 32 years after he allegedly committed a heinous crime. In 1989, at this apartment complex in San Mateo, investigators say 55 year old John Harris Jr. raped and tried to murder a woman. A suspect had entered her home, uh, had forcibly raped her, uh, strangled her, held a knife to her throat, and subsequently stabbed her several times before slashing her throat. Nearly puncturing her jugular, a DNA hit came back in December of 2020, linking Harris to the crime. 30 years ago, Kevin Raffaelli was the sergeant in charge of the case. She has come to the police department during my career here uh, and asked us several times uh, in the various years to run DNA checking, check on him, do what you can. So she never let it go. Harris Jr. was arrested Wednesday outside a Manteca business. We're here today to ensure that there are no other victims um, that have been uh, victimized by our suspect that have not been brought to the attention of law enforcement. Several agencies were involved in this investigation, including the San Mateo County DA's office, the FBI, and closer to our area, the Manteca Police Department.